So this is joint work with my former student. Oh, sorry. Junpei uh, Oishin, but uh, who has unfortunately graduated. Uh, so in Japan, uh, it's very difficult to keep exchange master's students to academia. So, but anyway, so, so I talk, I'm going to talk up about staging with control. And, uh, it's a very simple story. Well, so, oh, so thanks to the first speaker of this session who introduced meta immune style staging, but we are also uh, interested in meta immune style staging, which is based on quasi cottage approach. And uh, well, so for us, it's very important to have full control over code generation rather than, well, some kind of automatic staging. Well, maybe in Scala where you can enjoy staging without writing much stuff, but in our case, well, we do like to do, write everything by hand. And, uh, and one important aspect of this state, yeah, sorry. We can guarantee, statically guarantee the type safety and well scopefulness on genetic code. And then there may be, well, so some people would say, why we, do we stick to safety properties? And in, well, so we believe that static type safety is the heart of women. So without that property, when we don't say the language is ML. So, and uh, as you know, all of everyone in this room maybe may know that meta program is highly, highly, highly error prone. So I, every day I, I make some error when I write uh, code generator, and if done by hand, and genetic code is very hard to debug. And maybe, well, in, so the previous speaker already sh has shown that uh, genetic code is much, much longer than the original code generator. So if the error message says that uh, there is an error in the line 1,386, 1, but uh, the original code has only 100 lines, then it's, it's very hard to debug the code. So, and, uh, so this is just a kind of advertisement, but uh, meta immune style staging is also successful. Well, like Scala or Tempest Haskell. And I just picked up two recent important work by Jeremy Yarup and uh, Oleg and some, some great guys about string future. And we also have written several work, several meta programs using meta immune style staging. But still, I would say that uh, we need more research in this situation and because theory is insufficient for effective code generator. And also, the underlying language, uh, in our case, OCaml is ever evolving. So every year they update the language, and we need to do something more. And today, well, I talk about one instance of our effort to, to, to well, catch up with the, the current OCaml. Uh, not catch up, but some part of uh, the language, the target language of our study is a language with some advanced control effects, which is called JMT control. And we stick to keep the static guarantee of well typedness and well scopeness. And uh, so let me show you a very well, small example, which is hopefully very easy to understand. I use this kind of notation, but you don't have to read all the lines, and you only have to understand all underlined things are cogenerators. So int underbar is just a cogenerator for, for int. And for underbar is just a cogenerator for host for expression like this. And as in MetaOCAM, we use this bracket to, to denote code values. 
And this is my first example. And uh, we are trying to generate some double loop code, like some operation on matrix or something like that. And, and this set of combinator is just create a reference to array element. And, and fortunately, there is a very big computation here, and which doesn't use the values of x and y. Then, of course, we want to, uh, which does use the value of x, but which doesn't use the value of y. Then, of course, we do want to have this kind of code. Um, well, so before starting this inner loop, we want to compute the value of b beforehand, and we just reuse the value. And this is a famous example of let insertion. And I want to note that uh, this is a very dangerous operation. If big contains the variable y here, then this kind of let insertion shouldn't happen. And uh, our static type checkers should detect such kind of well, well careless mistake. And also, we, we may want to generate this kind of code. And suppose this big computation one contains a variable x3, but not y. And this big computation two contains neither of the variables x and y. Then probably we want to generate this kind of code. So we insert this big two computation to, to the topmost place and big one to this place. So each uh, big computation should go to the right place, so appropriate place. And also, we may want to exchange the order of loops during the cogeneration. And in this case, I didn't uh, write anything about how I can achieve this exchange of two loops, but just even that kind of aspect. And just Try to keep well, keep track of big, where to where this big one question goes, and uh, so the the order of these two loops has been changed, and the big one is inserted into the middle of the place. So it, every well complicated things may happen in this place, and we want to we don't want to divide this kind of code. And uh, we want to ask the, the, the language system to, to detect all the errors. And, and in summary, where well, all these examples can be implemented by this insertion beyond code level binders, and it is very dangerous. And there is a risk of scope exclusion. And uh, this, oh, this problem is very classic. And, Maybe most of you think that this is a very easy problem and has been solved many, many years ago. But in our setting, it is a very difficult problem because we stick to lexical scope, not dynamic scope. And the meta ML approach is a purely generative approach where we cannot destruct or analyze the already or generative code using by for example, by pattern matching, and we stick to static type safety. So still, uh, this is a research topic. And I, I'm going to give a one solution for that. And here, well, this is a, a kind of well, the simplest possible case for commotion. So there is a four, four expression which binds x, and the let expression which binds what u, and if E1 doesn't contain this X3, then we want to insert this let at this position. So let goes outside of this order. So in this case, I wrote, I inserted several control operators, which, which are called destination, insert, and stay. And insert means that uh, everything between insert and stay, we want to move this code to the destination. And every other thing should remain at the original position. So these three combinators are actually uh, 
kind of control theory. And uh, if we write this kind of thing, then the coordinator would generate this kind of code and provided these two conditions are satisfied. So x must not be used in this one. So this, this is, the first one is the only condition. And the second one says that uh, E2 may use both variables. <laughs> and this is our thing. And uh, uh, so, so we are concerned with scope, lexical scope. I mean, we, we attach names to its scope. So this largest scope is called alpha, and the second one is called beta, and the third one is called gamma. And uh, there is a natural inclusion order on scope. So alpha contains beta, beta contains gamma. But uh, when we want to use this kind, we want to use this this kind of control papers in this way, then uh, we must satisfy this condition, which means that uh, uh, well, so I, I, we are using reverse order of inclusion, but uh, not exactly. Which this E1 shouldn't contain it. Free, which means that the uh, typing context, context for this data is not a superset of typing context for alpha. So we must break this ordering when we use control operators. And this is an important point. And this is maybe the only important point in my talk. And uh, if we insert this, the thing, expression beyond double root, then we need to have a very similar condition as before. This, um, for more complex case, we need to insert this guy, this guy to different positions and so on. So on. And, uh, so, well, so. and we achieve this kind of requirement by using well, advanced control operators called shift zero and reset zero. And I will explain the, 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 the operation behaviors of these control operators later, but for the time being, it, it suffice to know that reset zero just implements state generation. And shift zero k implements insert, and pro k implements state. So these kind of combinations will, will suffice to implement. Well, if we don't care about any kind of time, time safety. And these kind of complicated co-generator may be implemented in this way. So where we, we iterate the operator, the flow operator, which is just uh, comp complicated. But uh, this, is, uh, this shows the uh, strength of shift zero and reset the operators, well, which is... Uh, anyway, so, this slide just shows how these three com control operators behave. And the shift zero and reset zero are called damage control operators, which means that it, they capture a damage continuation. So shift zero captures the continuation up to the most, well, closest reset zero. So here, there is only, only these Here, so this part is captured and bound to this K and will be used here. So 17 plus 5 times will be moved to here. So, so limit control operator just does uh, something like pole motion in a reverse way. But here you can notice that 4 plus goes upward. So, so we can achieve let insertion, well, so the, the behavior of let insertion by using this kind of control operator. And in more complicated case, we can, well, trace this kind of operator, but uh, you only have to check that by iterating shift zero and reset zero, we can capture the whole 
context. Here, so four plus this <laughs> four plus goes to the top of position. So anyway, so this is this can be achieved only by shift zero and this is zero and cannot be achieved by shift more famous control operator shift than reset. But uh, this is uh, a bit complicated. So I just remark. So and. Uh, uh, so, so our task is to attach appropriate types to these control operators to achieve type safety. So, for example, how to? So, our goal is to ensure these kind of conditions are always satisfied if the, the source code is is well has uh, well, good types or is the source code type. Change. So and our idea. So actually, we don't. We do have to well discover new ideas. Only very small ideas are sufficient to, to achieve our goal. And we just borrowed previous two works about refined environment classifiers and effects typing for control operators. And uh, what what is really new to our work is to add some join operator for for for. for Yes, which we will explain. Yeah. Um, this one slide will hopefully show us the, the essence of this talk. And as, we, as I explained, each code has a name. And this is actually done by uh, type level because we want to, to, to well, guarantee safety properties in terms of type checking. So, Scope rules should be represented at the, at the type level. So, and this is this alpha, beta, gamma is attached to a, a type, but uh, not ordinary type. But these uh, names are attached to code type. And bracket int means uh, the type of int code. So, each code type to be accompanied with uh, its associated scope. So each, yeah. um, this is one thing, but which was, which was already done by Taha. And I also used effect typing here, which is a little bit difficult to, to explain, but uh, uh, I just mentioned that uh, this effect typing Connects. So this shift zero should be aware of the scope of alpha here, and uh, the information that when reset zero appears in the time, in the term, the, the the scope, the name of the scope was alpha, and this information is checked at the effect level of this typing judgment. And which is initiated here and there. Uh, but this is, uh, well, very normal typing for, for control operators. And the one last thing which is new to our work is to introduce join operator for, for two scopes. This is because this heat, even though this part will be moved outside of the loop, this E2 may use both variables, which means that even though alpha and beta are not related as a typing context, this gamma should be a, a, a so E2 can use all the variables around here. So X E2 may use X and U. So we need a kind of join operator or union operator as a set union operator here, which was not uh, that in the previous work. And this is the only invention in this uh, work. And so this is a, a one example of a typing group for, for shift zero, which is a bit difficult. But, uh, well, so, so by using this kind of type, typing rule, we, we, we successfully well, characterized and um, the, 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 the safety condition or 
if we successfully encode its safety conditions in terms of type table. And our results can be summarized just by two lines. We can prove some reduction, and also type inference is not possible for the full calculus, but if, there, we, if we restrict our calculus slightly by restricting no effect of typing occurs, then type inference is possible. So this is our result. Um, this is a large, oh yeah, yeah. So maybe no one wants to read this. <laughs> so please read our paper. And I just jumped to this. So we have designed a type system for effectful staging to guarantee weight typeness and weight compliance. Weight compliance is just an implication of weight typeness in that system. And I say that this is the first use of system zero and reset zero in this context. And hopefully uh, our system can generate uh, easy to understand type error 